Roly Winkler vs. William Bonac at the 2017 Prague Pro when Roly defeated Bonac and won the title. It seems that since Roly started to pay more attention to his conditioning, he started to place higher. It actually shocked me to see him placed 5th at the 2019 Arnold Classic. I hope he will manage to nail his conditioning at this year's Olympia. The front double biceps shows that Roly is bigger, wider and denser. Bonac has a narrow structure and can't spread out in this pose. Look at the incredible size of Rolly's arms and forearms. They both have tight midsection and ripped abs. But Rolly has the more impressive V-taper. I like the shape of Bonac's thighs more as they flow better. The front lat spread shows that Rolly has the wider but the higher lats. His sheer size and width dominate Bonac in this pose with his narrow structure. Notice the visible striations they both have, which reflect their incredible conditioning. The side chest shows the sheer size of Rolly's shoulders and arms, but I like Bonac's rounded and striated chest more. Although smaller, Bonac looks more aesthetic with his rounded shape muscles. But as I said before, Rolly's conditioning was great that night, and when combined with his incredible size, he became too powerful to be defeated by Bonac. The back double biceps shows that Rolly has the more massive shoulders and arms and the wider lats. I think Bonac's straps look more aesthetic and symmetrical though. He also has the more ripped hamstrings and more aesthetic thighs which flow better in my opinion. The rear lat spread shows that Rolly has the wider lats. Look at the size and the density of his lats in comparison with Bonac. Bonac, however, has the better ripped and the more aesthetic lower section, including the more developed hamstrings and glutes. Although I like the way Bonac hits the side triceps, as I think he looks aesthetic and symmetrical with his rounded shape muscles, Rolly dominates with his phenomenal triceps, which are widely considered as the best in this era. Look at the size and the conditioning of their chest and shoulders, but Rolly's triceps would definitely catch your eye first. The abs and thighs shows the vast improvement Rolly achieved in his midsection and the fact that he overcame the problem of the bloated stomach. His symmetrical six-pack abs and narrow waist look very aesthetic and pleasant to the eye. Bonac's midsection might be his least impressive area, as he never nailed the conditioning of his abs. Bonac, however, has the better quads in my opinion. The most muscular shows the sheer size Rolly has in his phenomenal shoulders. Look at the shape of his traps which will show better in the crab most muscular. Although smaller, I think Bonac looks more aesthetic and pleasant to the eye with his rounded shape, chest and shoulders. But obviously, Rolly's size and conditioning overwhelmed and gave him the win. The crab most muscular shows the incredible size of Rolly's straps and shoulders, but it also shows the roundedness and the conditioning of Bonac's physique. Look at the striations in his rounded chest and shoulders and his small waist in comparison with that of Rolly, which does not look that aesthetic in this pose as it looked in the abs and thighs. I know that Rolly has a huge fans base, but after all, I am entitled to my opinion. I believe that Rolly won due to his overwhelming size, but aesthetics, proportions and symmetry wise, Bonac would win anytime, any day. I just don't like the shape of Rolly's thighs as they do not flow well in my opinion in comparison with those of top contenders such as Phil and Bonac. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.